What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and operate Vocal Dispatch. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that they're fighting for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys, this has been a request for quite some time. So to the subscriber out there that actually requested this uh, of me, um, this episode of Criminal Justice is dedicated to you my man. So here we go guys with Vocal Dispatch. The link is in the description below. Go ahead and click that link that says Vocal Dispatch. I'm going to get right into this. going to bring you to this page right here. Vocal Dispatch 1810 guys. You know what to do from here. Well, let's just scroll on down. It was This was made by uh, Turbo Fan Dude. Thank you Turbo Fan Dude uh, for your realism and creativity in the LSP of our community. As we surely do appreciate it. So go down and uh, click download this file. Then click agree and download. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. I hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life. I uh, hope you guys are staying in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Yeah, it's important to be happy, guys. It really is. So I want you guys to comment below, and I want I want to know who all got R D R two for PC because. I got it, and it's absolutely amazing, guys. I've already actually found a mod on it, so uh, I'll be modding that as well. What do you want to do with VocalDispatch.zip? Well, you can click here and save it to your downloads folder, or you can go here and click Save As and put it in your destination of choice. Okay? So now that we got that, make sure that your Vocal Dispatch is up here somewhere on your desktop where you can easily access it or somewhere... Or you know where it is, okay? So this is just going to take some GTA 5 directory, guys. So go ahead and pull up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Just like that. Alright. And we're going to scroll down. As always, you want it to install right here above this GTA 5.exe. Now listen. For the new, the, the new viewers, um, the reason you don't want to install into these right here is because it will launch GTA 5, okay? And the reason you can't install up here is because it will just default. It will go into a folder, and it'll suck up all your files, and it's going to mess up your whole game, and you're going to restart from the beginning. Okay, and I don't want you to have to do that. Okay, but anyway, we're going to drop, drag, and drop these files right in here. Okay, so go ahead and double click that vocal dispatch. Let's go and pop this window up right here. Now, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three, four. Five, five folders right there, okay? Now, the ones that we're going to be using is the top three, okay? So hold down your control key, highlight LSPDFR, highlight plugins, highlight that auto uh, LTX3 underscore time 64 dot DLL, okay? Now, it's just like any other plugin, guys. You're going to grab these, you're going to drag them. And three, two, one, drop them right there. Okay, so I've already got this installed, guys. I had to install it for a uh, episode I did uh, an episode I did yesterday, but I am going to take you guys into detail with this. Go ahead and close out of your WinRAR, and as always, delete that shortcut, guys. All right, now go up here to your. Let's do LSPFR first. Click double click LSPFR. Double click. Um, police scanner I believe it is and right here is your vocal dispatch audio so if you double click that it's gonna bring up all your audio for stuff okay so like when you call for a tow truck for example okay that's what she says when you request a tow truck okay and then uh, here's your unit types you know all your license place things pretty much and the names that you go by a to Z, guys. Adam, Boy, Charles, David, Edward, Frank, George, Henry, Ida, John, King, Lincoln, Mary, Nora, Ocean, Paul, Queen, Robert, Sam, Tom, Union, Victor, William, X-Ray, Young, Zebra. Okay? 
So it's, you know, guys, if you want to learn your license plates, uh, initials, this is it right here. If you see an A on a license plate, it's Adam. If you see a P on a license plate, it's Paul. If you see an X on a license plate, it's X-ray and etc. Now, if I were you guys, I would just, if I were you, I would highlight all these if you don't know them. And, like, right click and possibly, um... Uh, uh, you know, save them to like a notepad or something. Uh, that's how I learned how to do it. I had them in a notepad for a very long time, and I would just look over them and look over them and look over them, and I studied them until I had them down. And sometimes I still forget the initials, you know. So you're gonna forget those things. I have a couple episodes where I was actually, you could tell I was learning how to do the how to. Uh, you could tell I was learning the initials and learning the names of the license plate. There was a few where I would say half the license plate and not say the other half. So. Uh, so that's your unit type. Here's your division, which is your, your numbers here. All right. And then right here is your beat, which is also your numbers 1 through 24. Then up here, assistance required. All right. So that's for like if you call backup or something. See? All right. So that's what that's for. All right. If you guys could, if y'all heard that. I hope y'all can hear that. Report response. That's all that is. Alright guys, so let's go on back. Go all the way back to the main page. And click that refresh button. Go ahead and double click into your plugins right here. Double click that. Double click LSPDFR. And then go all the way. Now up here you're going to have vocal dispatch folder. Let's double click in there real quick. And this is all your audio right here, okay? So go back. Sorry, guys. So right here is everything that you can use for vocal dispatch. Like you, you can use it through arrest manager. You can use it through police smart radio, stop the pad, ultimate backup. So, for example, let's open up arrest manager right here. Just double click it. If you can't open it up, then just right click and open with notepad. Just make sure you don't change anything. Um... So, like, right here, it'll tell you word accepted alternates, need, request, roll. So, this is just telling you how to uh, request for a corner. So, you can say, uh, um, you can say, need corner, requesting corner, um, roll out corner, roll out CSI, requesting CSI. I usually say requesting CSI, requesting corner. One of the two. All right, so close out of that. Just make sure you don't change anything there, guys, okay? Now, here's your default files for vocal dispatch, like the ones that come with it, okay? So, um, this is why it's good to have ultimate backup and arrest manager and all that good stuff, because it adds to your vocal dispatch, all right? So, like, uh, right here, um, uh, when you accept a call out, you can... Uh, Call dispatch and say uh, your the first part of your division your beaten division name. Of course, mine being one Adam seven. My the example would be one Adam. Show me ten fifty one. Okay, and then she'll say copy that or Roger that one Adam seven. Uh, you can uh, right here it says it again. Uh, vocal dispatch accept call out. You can say one Adam on my way. You can say one Adam. Show me ten seven. Uh, that just means responding. So you can you guys can go through all this stuff here if you want to. Requesting code three backup. You can say one Adam, uh, or you can say, I'm sorry. You can say requesting ten twenty four. That's that's requesting uh, code three backup. Okay, that's all that is. If you get into it, one more thing, guys, I want to point out to you, and I'm going to show you this stuff in game. Okay, um, this right here, uh, where it's, I'm sorry, right here where it says shots fired. Right there. When you're in a predicament where you are cornered behind your car and you have, say, six or seven guys shooting at you, okay? And you uh, don't have time to hit the panic button. You can say, shots fired. Shots fired. Make sure you pronounce your words very clearly, okay? Shots fired. Shots fired. All right? Now, when you do that, a backup will immediately be dispatched to your location, okay? So that's what that pretty much is, guys. All this right here just tells you how to work vocal dispatch, what you can say, uh, what what to say and what not to say. Right here for arrest manager for transport, you know you guys always hear me say 1016. 
that's why I say that because that's what this is right here. You can say requesting 1016 and they'll send transport. I'm pretty sure that one still works. I don't know. We'll have to try when we get in the game. Anyway, let's close out of that. And the rest of them are pretty much self explanatory. So anything within your police smart radio, stop the pad or ultimate backup that has to do with that mod itself, you can say it over your vocal dispatch and vocal dispatch will recognize it, okay? So let's go back. All right, and one more thing, then we'll go into the game. Go all the way to the bottom here. You got a vocal dispatch DLL and a vocal dispatch INI. So click that config setting right there. That double click that. Now, um, I haven't really done anything to mine. The only thing I've done to mine is this right here at the bottom where I'm at. See where I'm at, guys? Division, unit, beat. So as I said, I'm one out of seven. Now, you guys have put down here what your numbers are, okay? But I do want to make something very clear about these numbers. Just say if your division is three and your beat is four, okay? Make sure you put a zero three and a zero four, okay because if you just put four and zero um, if you just put uh three and four it's not going to work okay you have to have that zero in front of that singular number okay so if it's a single number if it's a single number singular number make sure you put the zero in front of it but if you go from 10 on up then you just put the 10 uh, or whatever other number you have but you don't have to put a zero in front of that but if it is one through nine you have to put a zero in front of that, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. So go ahead and change that if you need to. Um, if anything right here, um, I believe it is, on your, on your guys, it should be set to default for other. This is for your controller, which, you know, I always recommend don't put anything on your controller than what you have to. So what you want to do here, guys, is just go up here and highlight this word none right here in your file. Right click copy or you can control C and then you go right here to whatever yours says on here I can't really remember and just hit right click and paste or you can hit control V to paste it so that's pretty much it guys now right menu key right here your right menu key all that is guys all it's saying it says begin listing key equals right menu okay all that means right menu key is your right alt okay so it's your you have a left alt key and you have a right alt key make sure you use your right alt key to talk to dispatch okay that's how you do that now being the fact you guys made some changes and i know that you probably did uh go ahead and click save in the file here or as always you can click the x and then click save when prompted to okay now let's go ahead and uh, go back to the main page of the directory just like this click on it Refresh the page, close out of your directory, and we're going to go in a game, and I'm going to show, showcase this for you guys, okay? So I will see you guys inside of the game. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick showcase of how vocal dispatch works. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys and girls. I do want to say one quick thing again, the same thing I said in my video yesterday about vocal dispatch. Before anybody asks me this question, and I know that you're just curious about it. I do understand that. But I had several people ask me last time I did a tutorial on this, what kind of mic do you need? What kind of They asked me, what kind of mic do I need for vocal dispatch? Well, here's the thing. The guy that made vocal dispatch didn't even really specify what kind of mic you needed. It doesn't really say that there's a specific mic that you need to buy to work vocal dispatch. Here's how it goes, guys. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. All I know is that I got a blue snowball ice mic, and it works great for vocal dispatch. So the answer to your question before you guys ask me what kind of mic you need for vocal dispatch, this is, your, this is the answer I have for you, okay? You're just going to have to go out and buy a mic and hope that it works, okay? And you're probably going to need a mic that picks up really good, you know. But like I said, when you speak in the vocal dispatch, you're going to have to speak very clearly, guys. And I mean very clearly, okay? So as far as that goes, I don't know what kind of mic you need for it. Uh, you just got to get one and hope that it works, okay? Uh, for those of you that want to know about what kind of mic I have, 
I will I will find it. I'll try my best to find it and leave it in the description below. So you guys can check out the mic that I have. But it is a snowball. It is a blue snowball ice mic. And it works great for vocal dispatch and recording. Alright guys, let's get on with this. Uh, we're going to hop in the car here. I've got my guy, my guy dressed up a little slick. So we're going to head out this way here. And we're going to go look for somebody to pull over. Oh, what am I doing? We can't. Can't go that way. We gotta go this way. Actually, well, you know what? Perfect, right there. He was swerving. There we go. He was swerving. And he's got illegal underglow. So we'll get this guy right here. Oh, I hope he doesn't run. I think he's gonna run, guys. Every time I do, I showcase a mod. I have the first suspect I get usually always runs. All right, guys, this is a perfect time to use vocal dispatch. So if you're chasing somebody and you need backup, you're going to hit the right alt key and say requesting code 3 backup. Assistance required in All right, so there you go. There's for code 3 backup. Now, if I want an air unit, it's going to be the same thing. Let me get somewhere here, guys, where I can hit my button. Requesting air unit. There's your air unit, guys, coming in. You just say requesting air unit. Now, just say if I want to get a roadblock on this guy. Requesting roadblock. Now, if they can get him, I don't know where they're going to... Why in the world were they sitting up there on the hill? Oh my goodness, are you serious? So, we'll get this guy stopped. Alright, and just for example, if you want spike strips, requesting spike strips. And the strips have been dropped, but I don't think they got his tires. All right, I got his tire that time. That should disable him a little bit. Oh, no, don't spin out. Don't spin out. Every time I do a showcase, guys, it never fails. Never fails. <laughs> Somebody always runs. Uh, dude, you got right in my way, man. Are you serious? Is he going back the other way? He flipped. Ah. Uh. Get out. Get out. Let me shut my siren off real quick. Get on the ground. Get down on the ground right now. Get down on the ground. Get down. I think this guy actually got him before I did. Yeah, he got him. Because I did stop the ped. Now, once your suspect is cuffed. Okay. And they're up. And you are code 4. You can hit the right alt key and say. Dispatch suspect is in custody. Okay, so see, you can, uh, and now I'm going to request transport, so all you have to do is walk up to him like this. Requesting transport. Hey, man, what are you doing, dude? You're about to get fired up on, boy. What's the matter with you? Don't hit your fellow officer, man. Are you dumb? Dude, hit me with his gun. Okay, and then there's transport right there to pick him up. Just get out of here, man, before I pop you too. All right. And now, for example, we're going to have his truck towed. Okay. 
Hit the right out key again. Requesting tow truck. It'll bring up that option to pick from a small tow truck, large tow truck, or a large flatbed. Just pick one. So if you pull up behind them, routine traffic stop is 1195. So at this point, you would hit your right alt key and just go. One Adam, show me 1195. Okay. And then uh, if you want a plate check, just go like this. Hit your right alt key. Requesting plate check. And there's your plate check. 401 Boyd King John 940. No. Oh. Okay, now it's a good thing we got a felony stop, okay? So I want to show you guys something real quick. So if you get a felony stop, all right? Just say we get a felony stop, and we've got one here. All right? Now, as you guys know, if you know what a felony stop does on ultimate backup, it brings them back up, you point your gun at the suspect, and you can just keep pointing your gun at the suspect and have the other officer arrest them. But this is what you do. You hit the right alt key. Requesting felony stop back up. So there's your backup. Once they pull in here, okay, you can then aim your gun at the suspect. And you can either arrest him yourself or you can just keep pointing your gun at the suspect. Move on back to my voice. Come on back. Come on back. Right there. Kneel down. Don't move. Don't move till the officer cuffs you. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back. All right, now that he's got him in custody. Just like that. And then you can put your gun away. And, of course, once again. Requesting transport. All right, so. Here's one of those things. There's two people in the car. When you have two, when the when the vehicle is occupied two times, or however many times it's occupied, it will give you an option to transport the nearest suspect only, two suspects in separate vehicles, or two suspects in one vehicle. Now, I just think it's cool to do two su suspects in separate vehicles, so I'm going to do that. So you pick that option, and then watch this, guys. This is like this is super cool, man. Can you guys move your vehicles, please? So I'm gonna back out of here so you guys can see actually what happens when this when this takes place. All right, so we got <clears throat> those guys that are actually on scene will probably take the suspects. Yeah, he's taking one right over there, and then this guy here is taking the other one in his vehicle. But if you don't have anybody on the scene, just for example, if you handle the scene by yourself, and <clears throat> for example, if um, you do that and you get two suspects in two separate vehicles they'll send two separate vehicles for those suspects so i mean it's pr like i said guys it's pretty much self this guy over here all right so she's gonna put her in over there whoa dude whoa bruh whoa man whoa hold up that is not gonna work for me that is not gonna work uh-uh There he goes right there. This dude's like out of control, man. Look at him. Look where he's going. He's trying to run from me. That's what he's trying to do. He knows he's busted. Wow, this guy, dude, he just, he's all over the place. Look at him. Look at him. Are you serious? Look at this guy. This guy's got a death wish. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's over that hill, so I'm not going to jump very high. I don't want to in the water. There he is right there. We're going to trap him right there.
Get out of that car. Get out. Get your hands above your head right now. Requesting code three backup. Backup needed in Mount Chiliad. Copy, that's a code two on our way. Don't you move. Alright, so she's apparently got narcotics in her system. Get your hands behind your back. Let's go. Alright. Let's grab her and pull her over here. That was crazy, man. She was jumping. I thought it was a guy. Is that a girl? She was. She's on a death wish, man. She was jumping over them hills and everything. Jeez. Hey, man. Thanks for showing up. I need you to take your suspect in for me. I need to call dispatch real quick, though. Dispatch suspect is in custody. Oh, yeah. I do need to show you guys one more thing. One more thing. Wow, I'm surprised. Okay, guys. So there's only one way to do this. Uh, <laughs> I hate doing that, guys. I really don't like doing that. All right. So let me get the suspect out. Get off that horn. It's annoying. All right. So you can also request ambulance. Requesting ambulance. So we'll actually call the ambulance first, then we'll call for uh, the coroner. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. So now you're gonna you're gonna request coroner. I'm gonna say CSI. Requesting CSI. Assistance needed in grape seed. Oh, that's it, guys. Right there is the coroner. All right, guys. Out. Well, that is pretty much it. You know, unless you're on your way to a call, then you can say um, you can say something like this. Dispatch, show me ten seven. I uh, see. They sometimes they won't copy it. So sometimes it's better to say the first part of your name, your uh, division and beat name. One Adam, show me ten seven. Yeah, see. Sometimes it copies it. Sometimes it doesn't. So. All right. So I think that's just about it. Now just say if you're heading back to the police station, the police station is a ten nineteen. Now you're not gonna say uh, dispatch. Um, you're not gonna say dispatch. I'm headed back to 1019. You would say something like this. Dispatch, show me 1019. 10 four. Okay, like that. And then when when you want to go off call, you would go dispatch, show me 1026. 10 four. And then when you're available for calls, dispatch, show me 108 code five. Anyway, well, guys, thank you for tuning in my video today. I really, really do appreciate your love and support, guys. I'll leave all my links in the description below. My very first LSPFR tutorial playlist, as well as my updated LSPFR tutorial playlist. Uh, my FS17 and 19, which is Pharma Simulator tutorials playlist, will be down there as well, guys. And my PayPal link will be down there. So, guys, if y'all could float, throw a few dollars my way, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. It helps me out a lot. Uh, make sure you do slap a like on my video. Uh, the more likes I get, the more my videos get out there, the more that people can see me, and the more subscribers I get, and the more people I get to help. And you guys know that I love helping people. So, guys, until next time, till next video, till next tutorial, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.